Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm going to teach you some propagating tips for your leaf propagation or your other ways of propagation to be successful. So I have many, uh, I have other uh, ways, I have many ways on how to propagate your succulents. Number one is through cuttings, through leaf, and here's an example of leaf propagation. There. So before we start, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. So let's start now. So first, we are going to talk about cuttings. So here is my boros tail cuttings, uh, the mother plant or the uh, something like I beheaded. There is the body where it's from. Here is a cut, and look, it has a uh, it's turning, uh, it's making some babies. Uh, here on the stem. Yeah, that is how you cut. So make sure if you're about to cut some succulents, something like. Portulaca, like Portulaca Afra or Jadelet, uh, String of Dolphins, something like that, something like um, Portulaca Tricolor, Portulaca Green, something like that, like with stem, you can cut it naman also. So, if you, want, if you want to cut, make sure that your uh, tool is clean. Example of our tool is our cutter. So, it doesn't, it, it doesn't, necessary that um it's clean as long as it is uh sterile or sterile or something like um disinfected already so this is really rusty so we need to um uh, clean uh, something like disinfect it for a long while so make sure that when you cut um when you cut make sure that it's clean cut it's a clean cut so what is an example of a clean cut a clean cut is where you cut the stem and make sure that the tissues of the stem is not uh hindi siya nagalaw or hindi siya disturbed so that eh, hindi siya mag fungi or fungus and something like hindi siya mag rot so that is why when cutting you really need to use a sterile or disinfected a uh, tool and then make sure to have a clean cut so this also works on some succulents, especially for sedums, uh, graft sedum. So I've already tried uh, cutting my sedum adolfi. Yeah, my sedum adolfi. But it turns out really well that I beheaded it. So the term in in succulents is beheading. Uh, well, this is succulent. I mean, the term for something like standing or sedum, something like that. It's called beheading. So you can also behead some echeverias if you want to. And uh, yeah, so that is how you cut your one way of propagating is to cut your succulents. Okay, second is through leaf propagation. Okay, uh, how do you do leaf propagation? So I have here my Fred Ives and my Purple Delight here. So I've already got some leaves from my Echeveria Black Prince, I like uh, Raspberry Ice. Cat's claw and painted lady. So, if you if you want to if you want to have a successful leaf propagation, make sure. Okay, number one, make sure that your plant is already stable. So, how to know if your plant is stable? I've already put it. Uh, I've already posted a vid about this. So, make sure to watch it. Okay. So, here's my purple delight. This has been stable already, according to my seller. And this one, my friend Ives, is from a beheading session. So its body is there in uh, Malap. It's a Christmas tree. And now it has one pop. Okay, so the process of um, leaf propagation. Again, make sure that your plant is stable. So I have a propagation tray which is there uh, together with my other succulents. So how do you um, leaf propagate again? Uh, make sure your plants are steady and do not pull 
do not pull here instead twist twist not pull okay let's make an example so you, in other ways um your when having leaf propagation make sure that you you also have a clean cut yeah so this is how you make a clean cut yeah there here it is this is a clean cut so if you're wondering uh should i directly put it in the soil yes you can but do not water or mist it because when you mist your leaf propagation and it hasn't been calused yet your leaf propagation may fail so if you want to make sure if your uh, your leaf propagation is already calused or the wound has been closed up make sure that you should air your air dry your leaf for more uh for uh for uh three days yeah uh less than three days uh i mean um, uh, at least three days of air drying your leaf propagation then after that you can put it in soil then mist mist only yeah i don't know why why is that like that but i always do misting and then but the first week of putting it in soil do not mist it for a while then after a week of no misting you can mist now and then maybe a week or two it will grow new roots. so here are some of my examples here yeah i guess this is two weeks old now it has a pop here's my ellen ellen propagation red eyes uh ghost plant propagation and cubic frost i don't know what's the problem about this cubic frost then here also my burr's tail here oh no natanggal yung pop and my dirty sunshine my pink curls pink frills and other pink frills so yeah that is how you propagate so if you're wondering if you can put osmocot or not yes it is also preferred to put osmocot in your propagation because it also um adds uh factors like uh it's a fertilizer because i also have a video for that please do check it so why do you mist but don't water it like uh, our our regular spray our regular watering uh, bottle it's because they say now na uh it uh they say ha huh? i don't know if it's true or it's fake but they really say that they only need mist because especially when you water it maybe there's a chance of uh rot like this one uh this one maybe with my black prints uh it is a clean cut or i missed it i misted it same here with my raspberry propagation but so far so good here so what is the ideal soil mix for your leaf propagation or your stem cutting so stem cutting and leaf propagation are almost the same but the one thing is you're gonna cut it in stem while leaf propagation is you're gonna get leaf from the stem so something like that so what is the ideal soil mix the ideal soil mix is um same like the one you're you're gonna use with your uh potting mix but for me i recommend using dry vermicast and humus because i also have a video why i chose vermicast for rooting it's because uh vermicast is a great factor when it comes to rooting so yeah so did you learn uh, did you learn something new about propagating tips so if you have questions or queries you can comment it below then i will answer it in the next video so i hope you learned something new about propagating your succulents so okay okay i forgot also uh, well uh how long does it take to propagate uh there is no such thing as what time or what exact day is it that your succulent or your propagation is gonna be finished because so uh, one of my succulents took um three months and it's still um uh, is small uh smaller than my pink finger yeah it's very small it is uh the plant is cedum adolfi and it uh i started propagating it last august yeah august 21 to be exact 
and now it's August 23. So it's been siguro, more or less three or two months of waiting, but it's still here. So um, that's why don't ask for your succulents. So, <laughs> so it's, it takes too long to propagate when you're just gonna ask. <laughs> Joke! But yeah, guys, if you want to propagate, this is the perfect video for you. Again, there are many various ways to propagate. But for me, in my experience, I only have two ways of propagating. Uh, three ways rather, beheading, stem cutting, and leaf propagation. So again, mist only. Make sure that your plants are stable. And yeah, the, well, that are the fundamentals if you want to propagate. So in the next video, I am going to answer your questions about propagating. And yeah, I hope you learned something new. And make sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can be updated. Bye!